the continent faces a lot of hazards and not having a centralized effort has often hampered the response and also not having um, early warning then the mitigation becomes all the more expensive and sometimes even all the more complex. We see that uh, some of these um, hazards that we may face in disasters ultimately there are things that can actually be transboundary. The idea is that we are setting the base for establishing a a continental early warning system which will inform uh, decision making of uh, authorities in civil protection at the different level but also will inform uh, the final end user the citizens about uh, when a disaster is uh, expected to to happen what is the um, possible impact of this disaster and what will be the best behavior even uh, from the from, from both from the authorities but also from uh, on behalf of the citizens in order to mitigate this impact to them this new initiative, the support of UNDR and the Chima Foundation, we are having a one center called uh, a situation room for now, but from IGAD perspective, they're looking at a disaster operation center, which will have two functions. One is the situation room that will issue early warning information, and then in the near future, there will be a second phase that will have the response part of it. We have done so many plans in the past, but from the experiences, I think instead of sitting back, waiting for disasters to occur, it's good that to be proactive, so the senior room will bring together opinion, experiences, and skill from different member states, and other member states also will, will benefit from the situation room because they will see how things are done in other uh, member states. So it's, it's, it's going to be a, a productive and a good uh, opportunity for us to share opinion and then to take early actions so that we can confront the impact of the disasters. This initiative brings together a scientific center like us, CHIMA, in partnership with the United Nations Disaster Risk Reduction Office, the African Union Commission, the IGDA Regional Economic Community, and the ACMAD Center. In the project, we have established a three situation room. The first situation room is placed in Addis Ababa at the headquarters of the African Union Commission. The second situation room is placed in Nairobi, in the ICPAC Climate Center of IGA, the regional economic community. And the third situation room is placed in Niamey at the headquarters of ACMAD, which is a continental meteorological and climate center that provides a forecast over the entire continent. But one of the things that I am proud of in terms of this particular project that we're working on with the African Union is that we've gone beyond policies and strategies and into serious implementation where uh, people's lives will be impacted in a positive way. Putting this situation room in place is going to ensure effective communication between member states, the RECs, and the Afri African Union Commission. Ultimately, the function of the situation room is not to take over the role of national government or regional economic communities. The idea will be based on cooperation and principle of subsidiarity, and it will be within the framework of the union. The African Union is a union of 55 member states, and there are legal instruments in place, so the situation room will work within that context. You see that you only will not rely on the information that you collect in country that helps you respond and also take early action, but also there will be that synergy between member states and also at continental level that they'll be able to, you know, work together and also uh, improve in the way disaster management is done. When you have an advance warning and then you're able to prepare, you're able to mitigate, you're able to reduce the risk or even um, the possibility of um, the fallout uh, when you have all the systems in place um, already pre-done or pre-arranged to make sure that uh, the impact is, uh, is not as devastating as it would have been if you're caught unawares or if you're caught unprepared. You will agree with me that in the continent, the youth constitute about 60%. And so we have the strength, we have the agility to move the future of Africa. So on the board or as a youth member, it is very important to note that the youth 
has a very, very significant role to play. For example, in advocacy, and that's why we are advocating that they should be actively engaged in any policies that has to do with DRR in all over the regions, REC members, member states, as well as the AUC uh, Commission.